Welcome back to the Epicenter video series where we're catching up with members of the Epicenter ecosystem to find out what they're up to now and what their entrepreneurial skills have taught them. Today we are catching up with Ola who is the former founder of Kindness Cafe. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Nice to see you again. Nice to come back here. Yeah. Well, a lot's changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so for people that maybe need a refresher, can you tell us what Kindness Cafe was all about? Kindness Cafe was a non-profit organization, a social uh, enterprise for a food rescue. We were trying to come up with an idea of minimizing the waste in Windsor, so cutting uh, up the uh, coast that uh, will uh, interfere with the transferring the food uh, from the big uh, chains and markets to the landfill we were like taking care of that and also like taking this food that is very healthy and very delicious to the people who actually needs it not necessarily any category or any um, uh, type or class of people but we all like food and we all enjoy it so mm -hmm. we wanted to have this uh, project where everyone will gather around a table to eat like delicious food you had kind of started kindness cafe and then COVID hit yes and then can you tell us about the impact of that a huge impact mm -hmm. i would say <laughs> okay so we actually before covid hit us we had like this amazing event we had it in a church where people came all ages they participated some donated money some just like ate the food and enjoyed it and then we actually had profit because you know some people will be like no i'm just gonna eat and i can provide money for the service and some will be like oh it's a great initiative and i will pay a hundred dollar credit so it was really sustainable was amazing amazing uh, service for the community and after that I remember that it was in um, January mm -hmm. and for the rest of the year which is 2020 we had a schedule with the many organizations because we became like very popular in uh, Windsor mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people contacted us and they were like oh we are having an event and we want Candice Cafe to cater and to present the idea of pay as you feel and we had like a schedule of like at least two events every month and that was like our like year that we will be boom, booming and our plan after that is to have a food truck and after that our phase our final phase is to have our um, permanent location so but covid happened and you know what happened like it was really difficult to continue doing that with the strict conditions of like no uh, no gathering and especially we deal with food like yeah. we deal with events and food so that was like impossible for us to do anything we tried to do things like um a, a, like a cooking course that we uh, did uh, virtually to uh, to show people how can how can you like take uh, your uh, your like your leftovers and like maybe like you cook, you cooked rice before and then you have a little bit of rice a little bit of onions a little bit of tomato a little bit of pasta how can you combine all that and make like a delicious meal mm -hmm. so we showed them that how specifically you can go through this but um we ran out of ideas because like people actually weren't ready to have like this fun atmosphere entrepreneurial um, uh, business that comes up with fun ideas like people were panicking people were tired so it wasn't the right time let's say and um, kind of like we are in a phase where like we're after COVID however what we've been seeing when we try to uh, bring Kindness Cafe back is the fact that there are there's no surplus anymore like we go to the big chains and we ask them to provide us with food and they actually don't have surplus anymore because uh, COVID changed everything and the uh, transportation system is is not as before it's uh, got damaged somehow uh, when when you do when you used to deliver something before COVID it used to take a day now it takes like months so we don't have a surplus anymore and I think the food banks uh, in Canada are suffering as well and it's it's kind of sad because like we don't have enough food uh, that is being donated however we have like extra amount like in, an increase of the food uh, of the people who actually needs the uh, surplus food because they can't because COVID actually screwed up the economic system people okay. don't have enough money now to pay for the the necessity of uh, a household however what I will like if I want to look at the positive or the bright side of it for kindness cafe because it's so sad for me to 
to just like say it's over or it's a history is the fact that our main goal for Candice Cafe is to minimize the food waste. Yes, uh, helping people and allowing people to eat delicious creative food was um, a byproduct for this project and a very important one. However, our main goal is to actually um, minimize the food waste and say that it shouldn't happen and instead of going to the landfill while it's really good quality of food we should like use it in the best way and the best way is to eat it and enjoy it uh, the the thing that I am like thinking about it as a positive thing is that we don't have surplus anymore maybe like uh, the thing that we learned from COVID is that we now appreciate the things and we understand that quantity is not what matters and quality is what matters that we have enough and we can use what we have instead of like just like enjoy the luxury of having a lot and just destroy whatever we don't need so we don't yeah. need to live in excess basically exactly yeah. yeah a lot of hard lessons were learned collectively and for small businesses and entrepreneurs like mm -hmm. you but let's go back to before all that, on a brighter note, you actually did a few programs at yes. Epicenter. You did Discovery Program, you did the Social Enterprise Program. What was the biggest lesson or takeaway that you still carry with you to this day from your time here? Well, a lot. That was the best time. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. That was the best time in my life. I had the Discovery Program the, the um, uh, founders and the social enterprise so basically like I lived in the in this incubation in AP Center I lived in here with the, with the amaz amazing uh, social entrepreneurs that I shared this experience with and the people who work there and I learned a lot really but I will say that the most thing that have changed in my life significantly is uh, failing failing became something that is good like really like positive thing that oh I failed that's fine oh I learned now like let's uh, change that and fix it it was actually like positive in a way that uh, gonna make me uh, shift myself and direct myself into the right direction and the right direction will be wrong again and it's just like was okay to fail and we used to call it pivoting so we didn't call it failing but like in when, when I wanted to apply this pivoting concept uh, in my personal life it's actually like you're failing this is not working you're you're hitting the, the 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 wall now and you have to shift so we used to pivot all the time and that what makes our story uh, like a deep concentrated fun exciting story because you will be like when I started a discovery program I was like uh, I don't want the food to be destroyed let's just set up fridges around downtown and and my um, like they talked to me like Maureen, like Maureen. yeah I was like okay uh, fridges who's gonna maintain that mm -hmm. where's the outlets where's the electricity gonna come from who's gonna like put it who's gonna clean it so I was like okay what should what 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 how we can like do something about it and she was like yeah you have to have your own place and to me that hit me like you know like you use we were babies at that time like literally very young I was a student coming here telling them about my problem of how I was frustrated from coming into like country that everyone says so much about it that it's organized that it's advanced and I still see people throwing food away that's not acceptable this is what how the, the business came by just complaining. And then when Maureen told me that I have to have my own space, I was shocked from the the idea of that I will have the ability of running my own business. Because mm -hmm. I had no idea. I wasn't like having like a business background. My mm -hmm. background is biology. Mm -hmm. So it was like very over overwhelming, but also very exciting because I found that oh the University of Windsor will provide me with with the tools needed uh, and the perfect habitat to build that <laughs> I love that and I remember when you were first here and yeah we were babies we were yeah. so young and I remember you coming to my desk and being like I'm gonna put fridges and I'm like yeah <laughs> do it see but everyone agreed said, with me now I should do this yeah you should do that <laughs> and then kindness cafe came and then you started yeah. catering some of our events and yes. that was so exciting yes and, I did yeah. I did yeah it was so much fun catering uh, the businesses because mm -hmm. that was how we are making money so the idea of that business is that okay any pop-up event that will happen to the public that will be with pay as you feel concept mm -hmm. so people can pay or can just like sing or dance or tell us a joke or hug us and we will be okay with that. Uh, however, the way we kept 
marketed open and sustainable because like we had the very fancy marketing mm -hmm. uh, for Candice Cafe and the colors and the banners and all of that. Uh, so we used to charge um, the businesses uh, that used to ask us to cater the events. Uh, we used to charge them and this is how we kept it like kept the door open and kept the business sustainable. So the idea was really, really good. And I remember this day then was one of the amazing perfect days for me I literally cried because I was like not sad tears happy, happy tears, tears yeah. they uh, were asking me if they can take the business idea and I was like absolutely because the whole idea of this to spread this knowledge or uh, business idea that can everyone can benefit from it yeah. and they did and in their uh, public release they mentioned me and Candice Cafe and they dedicated this uh, article to us oh that's so nice it's so nice it was really really amazing day because like the message is out so mm -hmm. it, even if COVID can uh, hit us and, and, and maybe like uh, stop us from doing something the idea will still alive it'll still be alive even if Candice uh, Cafe is not gonna like continue but the business plan and the pay as you feel concept they will still go everywhere so that very vague idea that you came in with that you were able to kind of construct into a social enterprise and work on here that idea went all the way across the country and is still yeah. being used yeah. that's a yeah. huge accomplishment it and you is. should be very proud of yourself i am i am I'm, I'm telling you i cried that day out of happiness i was so proud of kindness cafe because i i feel kindness cafe is my baby it like is I your think, baby yeah. yeah it's just like i'm so proud of this organization this movement the intentions behind uh, the mission it, everything about it was lovely oh, it was love very that. pure and Good. authentic yeah so if anybody else was kind of has an idea it's a very vague idea they don't know where to begin but they're a little intimidated to come here mm -hmm. what would your advice be well nothing nothing is intimidating here nothing like look at this place look at the colors like <laughs> nothing is in like if you're intimidated just come here to relax like mm -hmm. it's the opposite it's fun environment you will meet the people who have the passion to fix this world so you can imagine the quality of people that you will hang out with and you will learn from it's it's a perfect place to incubate your ideas and protect your ideas because I used to do surveys and uh, market research outside epicenter and the, the negative impact that I, I had from at, at the beginning of Kindness Cafe, the negative impact that I had from the, what people told me and how people treated me outside of this place was really devastated oh, and, and was really negative. So here you will be protected, you will be guided. There are opportunities for grants that you will, like people will review your grant application. You're not gonna see this outside. So definitely I recommend this place. I'm glad, I'm glad your experience <laughs> was so great. It was, it was one of the best. And then the last thing would be, what do you think are the core values that an entrepreneur should have? I wasn't, I, I didn't know that I am uh, an entrepreneur. I literally came here with like an idea and I realized that I actually, I am. And I think the the thing that you have in common between, we have in common between all the entrepreneurs is that we have so much flexibility and we are okay with the change. We don't have this corporate fixed rigid mentality because it's not gonna work with an entrepreneur person i think that is the difference we are not bind, bound by regulations and rules like we're gonna fix the situation and design it based on like what is being provided in the market and the demand so I that think, going yeah. back to that ability to pivot yes again yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for answering the questions today and sitting with us and coming here and seeing the space again. We love having you here. For anybody that wants to connect with you, can you let them know how they can be yeah. in contact? Yeah, well, Facebook, uh, Kindness Cafe's account for in Facebook and Instagram platforms uh, are still working. Because uh, you never know, someone might come and will be able to like give me an idea that will revive Kindness Cafe again. I'm not gonna close the social uh, medias, just mm -hmm. in case anyone who wants to communicate they can reach to us anytime. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course.